Hey guys, Winston at Carbide3D here. Stop me if this screen looks familiar. This is the dreaded arc error that some of our Fusion users have seen cropping up every now and then. There's a lot of myth and superstition and suggested workarounds floating out there, and today I want to explain why it happens and why you probably won't be seeing too many of these errors again. The arc error is something that generally only affects Fusion 360 users, and it comes from lines of G-code that have rounding errors. To explain why that matters, let's take a look at the G2-G3 arc notation. G2 and G3 are G-code commands that instruct the CNC to follow a semicircular arc. G2 is clockwise, G3 is counterclockwise. Let's take a look at this example. The move prior to the arc command will be taken as the starting point of the arc, in this case x0, y2. The arc will terminate at x2, y0. The center of rotation is communicated in the ij components of the arc command. i and j are relative, so the center of rotation is two units below the starting point. These two commands result in an arc that's drawn from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock relative to the origin. Now, for this to define a mathematically correct arc, the start and end points need to be equidistant from the center of rotation. Otherwise, you can't move from one point to the other in a circle. You'd either be spiraling inward or outward slightly. Gerbil checks to make sure that your G-code is mathematically sound to the best of its computational abilities. If the G-code isn't 100% kosher, it throws a warning. Now, with all the complicated arcs Fusion might generate when doing adaptive clearing, or linking moves, or lead-ins, it's impossible for rational numbers to perfectly characterize an arc. But the decimal precision that Fusion exports at means that most errors are basically at the micron scale and usually below Gerbil's precision floor, so to speak. But it is possible for a rounding error in Fusion's old post-processor to nudge the last digit of a coordinate in a direction that increases the absolute deviation of an arc command's values from a true circle and trip Gerbil's built-in G-code check. Now, you don't notice errors in most other G-code senders because they disregard this error from Gerbil, so for a long time people suggested one of three things. One, just use a different program, like Universal G-code sender. Two, change your CAM workspace units from inches to millimeters. This makes the base unit an order of magnitude smaller, and hopefully with the same number of decimal places, the margin of circular error in the arc moves will just sweep itself under the rug. 3. Tweak your post-processor values so that Fusion isn't allowed to generate arcs below a certain size. And these all worked with varying degrees of success. But there was also clamoring for one of two things to happen. Either Gerbil should stop checking the G-code for coordinate mismatches, or Carbide Motion should ignore errors just like the rest of the senders out there. And while either of those would have resolved the problem, both of those options boil down to fundamentally lowering the standards of the software. The root cause of all of these issues is that we weren't getting clean G-code from Fusion. So we called up the post-processor guru at Autodesk and had him add a function that circularizes arcs properly. This makes arc coordinates as precise as mathematically possible within the decimal precision of the exported G-code. I put the new post-processor through arc hell with several test cases that errored out using the original post-processor. The new post got me through all of them. We believe this is the correct way to fix the arc issues seen by some users, and hopefully you never see this error again. The new post-processor is available for download now in the Autodesk Posts library, and it should eventually become standard issue in new Fusion installs. For existing installations, you will need to manually download the new post-processor, though. There may be edge cases where something slips through the cracks of this post-processor, and if so, please email Carbide3D support with G-code examples so we can research it further. But they will probably be extreme edge cases. I have heard of instances where students handwriting G-code have tripped the arc error. In those cases, just make sure your start and end points are equidistant from the center of rotation, and write out a few more decimal places. I hope this helps the Fusion 360 users out there. Good luck, and have fun machining, folks.